Hi, I'm Congressman John Boehner. Occasionally, I like to use this web video as an opportunity to respond to letters from 8th Congressional District constituents. Recently, I received a letter from Jim in Hamilton. Jim operates a small business that provides in-home services to seniors in Southwest Ohio. Jim writes that burdensome mandates in Obamacare will hurt his ability to hire and invest and could cost him $44,000 in new taxes each year. Well, first, Jim, thanks for your letter. Since President Obama signed his massive government takeover of health care into law in March, employers and entrepreneurs have been coming forward at an alarming rate to talk about how this new law will hurt job creation and increase health care costs. Many major American employers like Boeing, AT&T, and Prudential have announced that they will likely be forced to make painful changes due to the law's new taxes and cost takes. Small businesses are feeling the squeeze too. I've heard from a number of local small business operators who are concerned about employer mandates uh, that are referenced uh, in your note. This costly mandate imposes a tax of $2,000 per employee on employers with more than 50 employees that do not provide health insurance. These new taxes on employers are sure to be passed on uh, to workers in the form of lower wages or reduced hours and will undermine job creation as well. Combine this employer mandate with the burdensome 1099 mandate, mandate, and it's easy to understand how job creators were feeling overwhelmed by a law which, upon its enactment, triggered the creation of more than 160 boards, bureaucracies, programs, and commissions. Americans understand that more taxes, more mandates, and more debt won't help put people back to work. They want Obamacare repealed, and Republicans are listening. That's why full repeal of Obamacare is part of the new governing agenda we've put forth and called on Speaker Pelosi to bring to an immediate vote. Jim, thanks again for your note. Uh, please know that in the months to come, uh, I'll continue to fight to repeal this government takeover of health care and replace it with policies focused first on lowering costs and protecting American jobs. Thanks for listening.